Hi, I'm Tim. Chances are, if you have one of these, you probably have one of these to go with it. Today, I'm going to talk to you about PMB, Sony's software supplied with Handycam, Cybershot, and Alpha Digital SLRs. This is Learn TV. Most people don't pay a lot of attention to the software supplied with their digital cameras. They typically are more worried about the number of megapixels or the amount of zoom that the camera has. However, once they go to install the software supplied, if it's not very good, that adds up to being a pretty disappointing overall experience. So what Sony have done is they've developed a piece of software called PMB. It's consistent across all of our Handycam, Cybershot and Alpha Digital SLR products. So that means that the experience is the same whether you're using Sony video or still cameras. It's very easy to use and it's actually pretty powerful for managing your photos. But there's quite a few other things it can do as well. So today I'm going to take you on a bit of a tour of PMB and highlight some of those features. Once you have PMB installed, the first thing you should do is check for updates. Sony updates PMB fairly regularly to add new features or fixes. This is the main PMB window. PMB works as an image management application. So it means that it's not actually storing copies of your photos or your videos it's simply storing references to them. Even with very large image collections, you can still browse through them very quickly. One of the best features about PMB is the way it manages all of your photos and video by date. So in addition to being able to browse folders like you could within your conventional Windows Explorer window, you can also browse your photos and your videos according to the date that they were captured. It's very quick and easy to do this. You simply select the year, the month, the day and even the time and it will show you what photos or videos you were capturing at that time. Browsing through your media is simple. You can zoom in and out. Both video and photos will give you a thumbnail. You can also expand the video out into multiple thumbnails every five seconds all the way up to every five minutes or it will automatically search for highlights within your clips to allow you to quickly have a look at what the contents of a clip is without being restricted to just seeing the first thumbnail. PMB also has a couple of other tricks. For example, it can search both your videos and your photos for recognizable faces. Once it's found a face, it can then find that same face in other parts of your image library as well. Some of the additional information you can add to your photographs are things like labels and ratings. The benefits of these is if you have a large image collection, if you can sort them by labels according to friends, family, or any custom label of your choice, you can find exactly the photographs or the types of photographs that you're looking for. PMB also supports the ability to tag photos or video with GPS location. If you're using a camera that has GPS built in or a device like Sony's GPS CS3, it's possible to also import this information. That means that in addition to being able to track the time and date that your photograph was taken, you can also track the location. The PMB import tool has a range of functions, including being able to back up the entire contents of, for example, a hard drive handycam. If you want PMB to index photographs already on your computer, you can simply add the folders on your computer as a registered folder within PMB. PMB also gives you some options for basic editing of your video and correction for your photographs, as well as being able to export out to a range of services such as YouTube or email. Finally, if you want to export your photographs or video back onto your camera so that the camera can be plugged directly into your big screen TV for viewing, that's also possible. Well, I hope you found this look at PMB interesting. It's just another one of the great features available when you buy a Sony Cybershot, Handycam or Alpha camera. We'll see you next time on Learn TV.